Hey y'all, it's been so long, I don't even know what to say. Oh, I know my phone looks shiny. Ooh. Anyway, um, I want to come in here and say, hey, I know it's been about three months. Yeah. Um, a lot has happened. That's why I haven't been doing videos. Thanks to all the people that reached out and said something to me. It meant a lot. Um, I moved. Work was crazy. Uh, I just didn't have the time nor the energy. But I'm here. I want to come in here and just say hey to spaces. Tell y'all I am so so behind on videos like trust me I still been ordering my weeds because I like my hair but I've been so tired and been just doing so much I ain't really just had time to just do what I do so I gotta get back in the groove of things and it's getting ready to be a new year and I am looking forward to 2017 and I also want to come in here and talk to you all. Um, yeah, I got this, huh? I got this long tail ponytail on. Got my head out now. Y'all know I hate my forehead, but it is what it is. I was blessed with the big old dome, so whatever. My main reasoning for coming in, talking to you all, is because I'm getting ready to. I'm getting ready to have a procedure done that I am excited about and I want to share with y'all just in case I don't mean I don't know how my healing process is going to go but I want to come in and talk to you all in case I'm in my age for a little while longer because of my procedure but I'm getting ready to have a breast reduction <sighs> y'all don't know the struggle or if you do you know, when you are top heavy, it can be challenging. I have been top heavy for a good portion of my life. Um, I, I remember as far back as like the sixth grade, I remember being top heavy. So as I've gotten older, you know, gain some weight. Uh, my weight has fluctuated. I've always still been pretty top heavy. Even though I would lose a little bit, but it's just become to the point where I'm just like, I am so over these titties. Like, I'm so over it. And then my friend, she, me and her were like the same size. And she went ahead and done it. And I was like, oh my God. I want it, I want it, I want it. And I went to the doctor and did the same stuff that she did and they approved me. And so tomorrow is the day. Tomorrow at 11 o'clock, I am scheduled for a breast reduction. Now I'm gonna show y'all, y'all can pretty much kind of see, but I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna stand up a little bit and show y'all uh, I guess a before because when I come back and stuff, I'm gonna show y'all what I look like afterwards and you know, let y'all in on my journey, I guess. Um, so this is my top, and I am like 165 pounds. And I am a 38G. I'm just so, so tired. I'm tired of the neck pain. I'm tired of the back pain. I'm tired of the uncomfortableness. I'm tired of... I'm just tired of it all, y'all. I really, really am. So, your girl... Why am I throwing this bone to him? Your girl is been to have a reduction done. And I'm looking forward to it. 
so after my procedure, I will come back in and share with you all and let you know my thoughts and how everything went and everything. And I'll look back and see on before and after. And hopefully I am pleased. I know I got people like, girl, you crazy. Ain't no way I do it. Come on in. When you take this bra off and your titties is touching your navel and you just, oh, God, it's just, Lord have mercy. I'm, I'm going to come in and share with y'all and get back on it. And I'm glad for y'all sticking around. I'm almost at a thousand. I'm like, oh, I feel bad because I ain't put out nothing. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I got to do something. So I had to at least come in and touch bases with y'all and let y'all know what's been going on with me and uh yeah i'll catch y'all on the next one i know y'all bet